I'm going to try my absolute best to get to the Anime Matsuri Festival and see them in person. I'm pretty sure Hannah said he needs to see one of our shows live. And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, Gatrick Spin just released a live video of Reverse Psychology at Line Cube Shibuya from February of this year. I heard the song once before back in October when they played it at another concert. Thank you, Home Gnome. <laughs> But this is the video they just posted today in celebration of their full album release, which I want to get to as soon as possible. But let's check this out. already happening in this song this crazy slapping bass these crazy drums the really cool synth sounds it almost sounds like a synth bass underneath there doing a lot of cool stuff and the guitar tapping the distortion on the vocals with the rapping style like what the heck there's so much to take in and then the cool back and forth between tomazo and hannah on the guitars That is so cool. What the heck? Did Angie just scream? What in the world? Dude, that was a cool contrast between Hannah singing right there and then Angie coming in. Was that Angie? Because I know Hannah screams too. I gotta say that again. Dude! I totally forgot that Angie screams. That's so cool. Koga and Tomaso's facial expressions <laughs> just adds so much to the experience of what and Oreo. They just put on such a great show, give it so much effort. The charisma really sucks you in. I love that they released this video as the first live performance with the album release because it really shows this direction they're going in with the dueling guitars, which is a really one of my favorite features of a lot of J-Rock bands. And it's so cool to see Gatrick Spin bringing that to the table now and these new different experimental ways to uh, change up their sound. I love that their sound constantly keeps evolving over the years, and there's no rules. They just do whatever sounds good and feels good to them. I gotta see this guitar solo section again. Yeah. 
bend at the end. Drums! How the heck is Oreo playing the keyboards, singing, and working the audience with the waves? Like, that's pretty incredible to me. <laughs> Wow, just such a cool way to experiment with the sounds. Everything was so well placed, like Oreo's little orchestral hit sample on the keyboard after those guitar solos that just brought it back in to the song so nicely. And the way it created these contrasts between really heavy and really dark with the distorted screaming. And then there was this release where it turned more upbeat and happy. That was pretty cool. I'm trying to get all the gadget guys to do a group reaction together this week to the full album like we did with unleash still in the works with that at least a couple of us hopefully will make that happen i kind of want to hear it again right now and why not i forgot to mention this earlier because it's still like processing and hard to believe but gotrick spin reacted to my reaction video for the kachi kachi yama contest they picked my video and i'm like Still in shock and disbelief, and I, <laughs> when it actually came out, I had such a bad sinus headache combined with a migraine, so my entire head was just throbbing, and it was really hard to enjoy anything. <laughs> uh, it finally went away, so I was able to watch it and really take it in, and just seeing the reaction of these people that I admire and respect so much that make such amazing groundbreaking music have been doing it for such a long time i mean these are iconic musicians to me i remember the first interaction i ever had with them was when koga popped up in that video where she's all those neon lights and the neon bass video and i was like holy buckets this slapper is insane you know and then i've grown to really love them not just as musicians but as people and the effort they put into their performances, it's mind-blowing to me. I don't know how they make it through two-hour shows or three-hour shows with this level of energy and performance and everything. Seeing them, like, smile and have fun watching my video and stuff was just mind-blowing and surreal, and I still can't believe they did that. But I got to watch this again because they gave me the time to watch my video and I just want to like sit and enjoy this again. So cool. Yeah, there's that little bass synth thing. It almost sounds like one of those automaton things because it has that really filtered sound to it and it almost sounds like it's talking that synth underneath and then can is basically slapping the guitar along with koga yes wow i'm so dumb i didn't even notice angie screamed right at the beginning of the song but give me a break gotcha spin music is a lot to take in all at once you know Yeah. 
It's a fun groove. Happen? Again, it switches from the ding to ding 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 to ding, ding funky slappy rhythm on the bass and guitar to this more straightforward head banging riff, and then Tomazo's thrown in this tapping. Oh. On the snare, along with the slapping now. Perfectly accented. That's, again, such a great way to introduce Hannah's part here with a completely different introduction. The dun, 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 you got that nice rest. And then when Hannah comes in, it's like almost highlighting this change up in the song. So heavy. Okay, those note choices that Oreo made on the synth there felt kind of, you know, unexpected note choices. Not quite dissonant, but like pretty close to the root note, I'm guessing. Like maybe a seven root and then second. I don't know for sure. But it just has such a cool, different sound to it. Look here. Look at that. I gotta say, it was such an honor at the end of that video when i think it was koga i'm not i don't remember exactly who said it but they were like he's like hannah a multi-instrumentalist and that just made my life you know because that's the whole my theme in the video is like hannah's such a role model for me her multi-instrumentalist abilities that she brings to the band and it's just i still can't believe that happened i'm gonna need a couple of weeks to process that but I'm going to try my absolute best to get to the Anime Matsuri Festival and see them in person. I'm pretty sure Hannah said he needs to see one of our shows live. And I was like, yeah, I do. So I'm going to try to get down to Texas. Absolutely shredding.
the way all these instruments are creating this harmonic texture like between the bass guitars and, and keyboards just like the movement within the music so cool and then tomazo's kind of dancing around that with this lead guitar They're such a cool band. I really hope that I get to go down to the Anime Matsuri Festival and see them live. It's only four days after the Bandmade concert that all the Gaijin guys are coming to, so it's going to be a tight squeeze. And then Voice of Bacha Pro is also playing in Chicago like one or two days after the Bandmade thing. I want to see all three of them, but they're all in different parts of the country on the same week. But I'm going to do my best to make it. <sighs> Does anyone know what day of the festival they're playing? Still trying to process that whole reaction thing that they did. And uh just want to say thank you all so much for your kind words on that video and on my video. This is like one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me. This and Yoyoka visiting my house are like... I. St- I'd never thought this anything like this would happen ever. So it's still like, what they they watched mine? It's hard to believe because I'm just some dude in Minnesota. Well, I guess I'm in Wisconsin now. I'll always feel unworthy of this kind of stuff. I don't know why, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and again, thank you, Gatrick Spin, for making such cool music. 